You you also mentioned, you know, somebody else we lost this year, Sydney Poitier. We also just lost Bob Saget. You posted such a wonderful, loving picture of you too. How did he influence you as a person? He's my friend. He yeah. was my friend. Simple and plain. He was always there for me. He was good people with me. And we, he was my comrade in comedy. We're in for a treat. Got a few comedy shows coming up at Caroline's. Yeah, man. I'm looking forward. I can't wait. I'm back at home. And I'm, you know, I'm performing in front of my... Uh, my hometown. Yeah, I mean, is that what you love years. most about Caroline's? They haven't that seen you? me in two years. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, that, is that what you love most about Caroline's? Like being back home, hometown, and that feel? Well, it sparks nostalgia. That's where it started. I remember when they gave me a shot, I was a baby. Tracy, when you're thinking about, you know, being on, on stage and performing right. in front of the crowds, do you feel like the environment today has has changed a lot from when you first started? Like Steve Harvey just said that political correctness killed comedy. Do you agree and feel like- There's you no place in comedy for that. There's mm -hmm. no place in comedy for PC. Mm -hmm. I already know, I've been through it. I got in trouble years ago about that. A joke I've been saying for years, one time it wasn't funny. I don't control that line. Funny, 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 not funny. So, you know, I don't like that. I've created a lane where I can say whatever I want to say on stage. I've created that lane. So I'm thankful for that. Gotta be, man. I like to get off on stage is a sacred place. That's a place where you're not supposed to be able to touch me. Now, Tracy, you mentioned you mentioned the last OG. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about your performance at the finale. So many people have lauded your performance, how you really hit it the heart of your portrayal, how you, you, you were incredible, emotive. What does it mean to you to be recognized for such a dramatic scene? It means a lot for my peers to recognize me and what I do. It, mean, it really means a lot. I really don't care about a trophy. I just, I'm glad to be recognized. Mm -hmm. I try so hard. I work so hard at what I do. I study. Mr. Portier, big, big ups, rest in peace, Mr. Portier. I've learned a lot from him just watching him, raising in the sun, and all of these things. And if you look at the last OG, I, uh, I likened it after raising in the sun and the honeymooners. And I have my OGs, Martin and Eddie, who I've learned, and Arsenio, who I've learned so much from. And I'm so grateful and happy and proud to call myself a friend of theirs. The Oscars just announced that they'll have a host this year. Are we gonna see a Tracy Morgan hosting the Oscars someday? I don't know. I I don't know. I would hopefully one day do it. I, hopefully one day I would love to win an Oscar, but yeah. that's not up to me. Unfortunately, that's not up to me. I would love to share my comedy and my humor with the world. Join the Oscars. I would love to do that. Absolutely. I would be so honored to host the Oscars and even more honored to win one. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.